Hi guys, welcome to another Barb Stance multi-card video. This video focuses on cards made with products in the Let It Snow suite, which is shown on pages 18 through 20 of the holiday catalog. So you can see we have a really nice layout of adorable projects. The suite, the, pro, or the products that we're going to be focusing on with these cards is the Snowman Season Stamp Set and Punch, the Winter Knit Folder, the Let It Snow designer series paper, the red glimmer paper, the red curly ribbon, the snowfall accents puff paint, and the let it snow embellishment kit. So I wanted to start out by showing you all the products that come in the suite. So of course we have the bundles, snowman season bundle, which is the stamp set and the coordinating punch. So you can see we have the snowman, the hat, and the arms that are on the punch. There's also a tiny little nose that you can crop out of some pumpkin pie cardstock to add to his cute little face. And then we have a couple other little snowman images that are perfect for the puff paint. And then we have some nice sentiments and then a little background, a couple background stamps there. Uh, the suite also includes the winter knit embossing folder, which this is the pattern that it will emboss for you. That is one of our cards. We'll put that on the side. Uh, the Real Red Glimmer Paper. Oh my gosh, Glimmer Paper is so pretty. The Let It Snow Designer Series Paper. Now this is our specialty paper because the opposite side of this paper, a lot of the patterns have some um, glitter accents. Now I don't have full sheets of all these pieces, but I do have enough that I can give you a good representation of the patterns. So we have these patterns here on one side and then we can flip this over and you'll see that we have uh, the cute little mittens and this is some of the glitter accents that I was talking about and you'll see these two snowmen can actually be cropped out with that punch so that makes this paper and the punch uh, really desirable because you can do a lot of things with it. Uh, the hats on this page these little hats you can crop out with the punch also this is one of my favorite patterns. These trees all have glitter accents on them, and I just find this color combination adorable. Coastal Cabana, Shaded Spruce, Real Red, and Flirty Flamingo. Ah, just like your kind of basic snow in the blizzard pattern. And then again, some more of these fun little kind of chunkier snowmen that are really adorable with their glitter accents. I also have an online class for this bundle of products, and you can find that at barbstamps.com. And uh, the class itself is $25, or if you purchase my entire bundle of products, which is $99, which is the stamp set and punch, the winter knit folder, the embellishment kit, this cotton ribbon, and the puff paint, I'll give you the class for free. You can check that out on my blog. So the embellishment kit, adorable. I've used a lot of things in here. There was a full sheet. Um, of these little arms, noses, buttons, and eyes. We have some glitter washi tape. There are four felt sheets here with hats, mittens, and scarves. And you can see I have used a lot of those items. We have some tiny little snowballs that can be attached to your projects with um, liquid glue. And then it comes in an adorable little box. And in my online class, we have a little cute belly band that wraps around this. You can actually use this box uh, to give a gift in. The ribbon that's associated with the bundle here is the Real Red Curly Ribbon. It's kind of like... Um, knitting yarn, uh, but I also think that our cotton ribbon um, in the big catalog goes perfect with the suite. All right, so let's get on with the card. So here's the first one. I just showed you this. We've got the winter knit folder in the back on a layer. The whole card base is Coastal Cabana. Inside panel here, a little strip of the designer series paper, some snowflake sentiment, and the little snowman just stamped colored in with a few Stampin' Blends. We've got the, um, this is the Dark Pool Party, and then the light real red, and then I have some of that Coastal Cabana mini striped ribbon, and then we have a piece of the patterned paper back here cropped out with a rectangle. So the first few sets of, sets of cards, besides that one I just showed you, um, most of these use some accent or element from the embellishment kit. So this one is a really fancy card. This is our glittery um, paste our shimmer paste down here at the bottom. We have our white craft pad stamped on black. The sentiment here embossed in white on black. This is some more ribbon that's in the holiday catalog. Uh, it's a fun real red ribbon. A couple of little bows here with some mossy meadow and some, this is stuff called braided linen trim. And then the mittens on the snowman. So super cute. This one uses one of the hats and the arms from the embellishment kit. We've got our little sentiment here for rum. 
the itty bitty Christmas stamp set. This has a ton of fun Christmas stamps in it. I've really been using this one quite a bit. So that's where this little sentiment came from. We have some real red rhinestones up there, uh, pieces of the designer series paper, some ovals, and of course that cute little snowman. This one, we've got a couple patterns of the designer series paper. This one does have the puff paint. So all you do with the puff paint is you shake it up really well. You just dab it wherever you want it to be. You heat it with your heat tool and it just puffs and it's very 3D and it's just really, really cool. So this one also uses some of the red glimmer paper. And then we have a couple um, felt elements from the kit along with um, his little arms. So we've got Coastal Cabana and Real Red. This next one also uses a few patterns of the designer series paper. This one and this one. Then we have a little tiny strip of our sparkle glimmer paper. One of our nested labels here with our snowman. You can see the puff paint all around him. Uh, one of those noses from the embellishment kit. And then these little mittens kind of finish off the card at the bottom here. Our sentiment, real red and coastal cabana. This one uh, from the embellishment kit, we have the little arms. And this is the patterned paper where it was just cropped out with one of the ovals. So you have that little snowman image, super cute. Then we have a stitched circle. We have a scallop circle, a couple patterns of the designer series paper. And then we have this tiny little snowflake. It comes with the two every season bundle. This is a little bundle of punches. We have a leaf, we have a bat, the little snowflake and a heart and so that's where those little snowflakes came from out of the real red glimmer paper uh, some of that cotton ribbon and then we have the swirls and curls folder in the background here sentiment on a banner so we've got real red shaded spruce and coastal cabana this one the background layer is flirty flamingo with a layer of coastal cabana and some of the designer series paper and here's some of that really pretty shaded spruce and gold ribbon from the um, holiday catalog uh, a little scarf our snowman with his hat kind of flying in the wind and the sentiment and then some snowflakes. This one, we've got my favorite patterned paper in the background here. And then here's that little snowman from the paper that I showed you earlier. It's just cropped out with the punch, super simple. Some sparkle glimmer paper here for the snow scene. Christmas cheer sentiment again from the itty bitty Christmas. A couple of red rhinestones um, on the ends of that uh, classic label punch. And then we have the little felt elements uh, there for our snowmats. We've got real red, flirty flamingo, and then the sparkle. This is a fun one. It opens the other way. So we have our little snowman with some arms cropped out of soft suede cardstock. He's got one little felt hat. And this is some of our liquid glue. And then we have sprinkled on some of our ice stamp and glitter. And I find that the liquid glue works really really good for this ice glitter you just scribble it on there pour on the glitter press it into place it dries and it's just the coolest thing ever and so this one also has a fun little hat it opens backwards which i think is super cool a little strip of the pattern paper and then some of the other stamps in the set uh, complete your inside message now these next cards don't use anything from the embellishment kit just you know stamps ink and paper and probably some ribbon. So we've got some ovals here, our little snow friend there stamped and colored in with uh, Pool Party and Real Red uh, Stampin' Blends markers, a couple of rhinestones, uh, patterned paper, and then it opens from uh, what we call a quarter sheet of cardstock. And then the little image, believe, again, is from the Itty Bitty Christmas. All right, moving on to this one. We've got that winter knit folder in the background here. Our little Celebrate the Season sentiment uh, comes again from the Itty Bitty Christmas that was embossed with white embossing powder on one of our tiny little stitched rectangles. A super skinny strip of real red glimmer paper here really adds something to this card. A uh, little piece of the designer series paper. I think I already mentioned the ovals. We've got some puff paint down here at the bottom. And then Real Red and Coastal Cabana are the colors. Here is another one that's a bit of a fun fold. This one has a black card base, a uh, little strip of designer series paper here. We have the hat uh, paper up here. Ovals again, the stitched and the scallop. Sentiment right across the center with the snowman and then the little rhinestones there to finish off the holly berries on his hat. This one, again, my favorite paper, yay. So Florida Flamingo, and this looks like to be a lovely lipstick with the designer series paper. The snowman cropped out of that specialty sheet that has all those little snowmen on it. Uh, his little hat, same thing, just cropped out of the snow paper. We've got one of our uh, label punches here, the Christmas cheer from the Itty Bitty Christmas, and then the um, fun curly ribbon just kind of wrapped around everything underneath. 
All right, this one uses our Thick Whisper White as the card base, and then you can see you just uh, used one of our uh, circle dies to crop out that snowman image from the designer series paper. Another piece of the paper here, a real red background layer. We have one of our real red glimmer dots up here with the sentiment, and then a black uh, circle to kind of hold that, let this thing pop off the page. So pretty simple cards, some paper and a stamp, and you're good to go. Here's another one here that's very simple. We've got the Let It Snow banner here, and we've just added a little exclamation point with the Call Me Clover marker. A little strip of blueberry bushel ribbon stapled onto the sentiment piece. Cute little hat colored in with blends, the designer series paper, and then we have lovely lipstick and a blueberry bushel as our colors. All right, look at this cute little thing. This is a little drawer box card. Um, I have a video, a standalone video for this, and I will link it for you guys right up here in the corner, right up there. And it's a cute little box using the designer series paper. Of course, the little snowman. We've got his uh, buttons from the embellishment kit, his little hat from the embellishment kit. And this is just adorable. So give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it so far. And be sure to subscribe to my channel right down here so you can be notified when I upload new videos. This one here, we've got some shaded spruce. We've got some of that fun ribbon stapled up in the corner. A little strip of red here kind of breaks up the designer series paper from the background layer. We've got our fun little snowman here. And then there is a tiny little bit of, can you see that? That little, it's um, our shimmery crystal effects. So you can just draw lines of kind of shimmer glossy. Um, accents with that pen, which is really cool. Uh, the snowman, all the pieces just punched out, and the sentiment here is from our Cup of Christmas stamp set, a little small image right down there. All right, moving on to this one, we've got Coastal Cabana and Real Red. You can see that rectangle, the very large rectangle framelit was used to cut this out. We have a bit of that fun, chunky glitter again. Right here is that chunky glitter, uh, making our snow hill there. We've got the snowflake stamped in the background with white ink. And then I believe this was probably a toothbrush um, tapped into the white ink and then uh, flicked all over the uh, card here. We have our sentiment strip on some Call Me Clover, piece of the Desire Series paper, snowman in his hat, and a little piece of white Baker's Twine. And then look at this cute little scarf done with that red curly ribbon. Moving on to this one, we've got a Whisper White Thick Card Base. We have the Swirls and Curls folder on our white layer. Three patterns of the Designer Series paper, well actually four if you count this little guy being cropped out with a circle, and then a scallop circle, and then an oval scallop with the shaded spruce. And here is that fun little, where is it at? That fun little snowflake punch. If I open that, you can see a little bit better. Anyway, with the Sparkle Glimmer paper and then some fun real red rhinestones in the middle. We've got two different kinds of ribbon here. We've got the polka dot and then the red cotton and then our sentiment up here that's cropped out with the, um, what's it called? The note tag label punch, I think it was, is what that's called. Taking a break, I want to remind you guys about my online class. The class features the designer series paper, the adorable embellishment kit, the winter knit folder, the snowman season bundle and the red cotton ribbon all of those items are used on the projects we have eight greeting cards along with six gift tags that will go in this box and then we have created a belly band to go around it so you can give it as a gift so online class $25 or $99 to get it for free if you get all the products barbstamps.com along the top banner you'll find a link that says online classes and you can click that and order it all right, moving on here, we have this one here done in shaded spruce. So we have uh, little snowflakes here in the two corners, the cute snowman paper, the paper that has the hat you can crop out, and a simple sentiment strip. So this card is super simple. It's uh, shaded spruce and real red. Here we have a, another one. Oops, somehow that's not stuck. This one uses that strip of... Uh, what is this washi tape out of the embellishment kit on a piece of real red uh, glimmer paper we have some snowflakes embossed in white on this layer of the designer series paper here's my favorite paper again uh, this oval here is one of the pieces of paper and then of course this little snowman guy is another so you can do so much with just the paper in this kit it's amazing so we have real red and shaded spruce more of that fun designer series paper two different patterns here we've got some of that red curly ribbon tied in a little bow we've got our sentiment up here with a bunch of the snowflakes our cute little snowman and then you can see there's just a little bit of sponging done back here with some coastal cabana so we've got whisper white thick cardstock for the base coastal cabana real red and shaded spruce 
Here's my favorite paper again, paired with Coastal Cabana and Flirty Flamingo. Love those together. Here's some of that fun curly ribbon, and I just love how it frays apart at the end. We've got our timeless label punch here with the sentiment, a couple of ovals here with our little snowman, and then we've got him colored in with our Stampin' Blend. You can see the Flirty Flamingo, the red, the dark pool party, and you can see the light pool party just kind of accents him around, a little bit of crumb cake and some Call Me Clover. A bit of a fun fold with this one that uses Coastal Cabana and a blueberry bushel. So this just kind of flips open. And there you have the inside of your card with a nice white layer backed by some blueberry bushel. A little piece of the Designer Series paper. Some more paper here and just a bunch of circles. We've got the sentiment with a fun little rhinestone accent and then a bit of that blueberry bushel uh, skinny ribbon there. This one here, we've got some puff paint accent down here at the bottom underneath our fun little snowman. You can see his little arms, his hat. Uh, of course, he's punched out with his hat. We've got a little strip of the designer series paper, our sentiment piece here, and then some more of that fun curly ribbon as a scarf. These next few cards are um, not cards that actually go with the suite, but they do use the snowman uh, stamp set and maybe some of the other items. So we have this one here, really fun, on some of our fluid watercolor paper stamped in, um, well, actually the paper was colored first and then he was stamped and embossed and then he was colored in just a tiny little bit. And then we have one of our, uh, these frosted dies here in the back. And then we have the tree background for the folder and then some rhinestones. So this is Gorgeous Grape and Purple Posy. And then this is Mint Macaron. Or no, this is Pool Party and this is Mint Macaron. All right, here's one done in Seaside Spray. So our top layer here is the Swirls and Curls folder. We've got the sentiment on a piece of white backed with some blueberry bushel, some of that gorgeous Seaside Spray ribbon. We've got the puff paint accents, a little bit of Wink Estella to color in our fun little snowman, and then his hat and his scarf are colored with Seaside Spray and Blueberry Bushel Stampin' Right markers. This one uses a Whisper White thick card base along with the Winter Knit folder on Balmy Blue. Then we have a rectangle with our sentiment piece here, some vellum with a bit of the puff paint here, our snowman stamped in balmy blue, colored in just a little bit, and then we have a bunch of the white baker's twine wrapped around that layer. All right, here's another one that uses the first, or feels like frost suite of products. So this one uses some of this designer series paper. We have this gorgeous, gorgeous like scenery, photos of scenery, designer series paper. And then the dies, and they are called the frosted frames dies. So we've got a frosted frame here. We've got some of the puff paint, and then we have some of the chunky glitter ice stamp and glitter, excuse me, uh, sprinkled on there. We've got some die cut snowflakes. And then um, everything is done in Purple Posy, and we've got some Purple Posy and a little bit of Seaside Spray coloring in our snowman there. All right, so here's another one where we've got the snowman just cropped out of the Designer Series paper along with his hat, same thing out of the paper. The Swirls and Curls folder in the background, our Thick Whisper White card base. We've got his fun little arms here out of Early Espresso. We've got our sentiment here with the Let It Snow and then the cotton ribbon. And then this is the Buffalo Chick uh, background stamp on that layer of white. Then we've got this one here that uses the um, Praiseworthy Pros, I think it is, dies to make the J and the Y, and then this snowman is the O. We've got the Winter Knit folder in the back. We've got some of that fun polka dot ribbon, little snowflake accents there, some puff paint, and then he is just adorable. So we've got the um, Pool Party and Black are the colors on this one. This one here, we've got a Call Me Clover card base, some real red here, some of the Designer Series paper. We've got a bunch of layering squares, a uh, little teeny bit of the Call Me Clover ribbon right here, our snowman with his nose and his buttons from the embellishment kit, and then the puff paint um, in different areas on there. This one uses a piece from the Designer Series paper, and then we've got a little die cut snowflake there. We've got the uh, square, uh, scallop square framelits. We've got the embossing paste in one of our um, masks and the sentiment on a piece of the designer series paper. And then we have our thick whisper white card base. And then this is actually a strip of the um, washi tape from the embellishment kit. This little fun guy is stamped on white with a balmy blue and red uh, scallop circle accent pieces behind. We've got the die cut stitched rectangle, real red, whisper white thick card base. We have the fun curly ribbon and then we have the sentiment from the stamp set right down here. And then we have um, him colored in with red and balmy blue. 
And here's a card that mimics a card that I showed you in the very beginning. So I made two of them, one with non-traditional colors, one with more traditional. So this is done with Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. So we've got our stitched rectangle there, our main panel of white, a tiny little bit of the Granny Apple Green down here with the decorative ribbon border punch, uh, the fun mini Gorgeous Grape ribbon, and then his fun little hat right there. This one we have some kind of vintage -y colors with the crumb cake, Knight of Navy, and the Cherry Cobbler. Again, that Swirls and Curls folder. We've got three layers of cardstock here. We've got the Snowman uh, cropped out of vanilla with a few snowflakes, and then a cute little scarf with the red curly ribbon, and then our sentiment piece here um, with the little banner end. So the next cards use the Designer Series paper, but not necessarily much else. So this one does use some of the curly ribbon, and then we have some of our nested labels here, and we have the Merry and Bright Sentiment, which comes from the Everything festive on page 35 of the holiday catalog. Let's take a quick look at that. I think there are some really uh, fun sentiments here. Here we go. So here we've got the Merry and Bright. We've got uh, Halloween. We've got some Valentines, that kind of stuff. So that was just using the paper only for the most part. This one comes from the Peaceful Bows set, which is on page 15. Here we go with that. So you can see we've got some of the stamped images, some of the die cuts here, um, the sentiment here with the label that comes in the set. And you can see that there is just a tiny strip of the designer series paper here that really sets everything off and just makes it all go together, I think. And then we have the Harvest Hellos, which is on page 49. So that is the apples and little pumpkin set. Super cute. You can see the patterned paper back here. Doesn't look Christmassy at all. I just think this paper works with lots of different things. We have crumb cake and pool party and then real red with the little granny apple green leaf there. Then we have the birds of a feather stamp set. Super cute. Again, nothing Christmas about this. In fact, it's more Valentine's Day, but yet we're using some holiday paper. So again, this paper, a lot of these patterns can be used with literally anything. So we have the Whisper White Thick Card Base, a Whisper White Layer, some Bermuda Bay, and then the patterned paper, and of course, some real red. And then there is some of that shimmery crystal effects pen um, all over that heart just to kind of make it pop and be a little bit fun. And now the rest of the cards come from the Cup of Cheer bundle, which is on page 34. Here we go. So we've got the Cup of Cheer. Uh, we've got the reversible stamps here that can go uh, left or right with the handles. Lots of different sentiments in here. And then we have a die set. Uh, with the cups, candy canes, and that kind of thing. So a super fun set. So we do have a little bit of the patterned paper here. We've got that winter knit folder. We've got some of the red glimmer paper, and then just some of the accents from the uh, cheer cup of cheer. Another one, a little bit of that patterned paper here. And here's that scrolly embossing folder. We've got a mint macaron card base, some of that side spray ribbon, and then a couple of the mugs. This one uses a very large piece of the patterned paper here, definitely Christmas themed when you throw it with a cup and some frothy cocoa and a candy cane. A little bit of that um, red curly ribbon there at the bottom. This one here, we've got some of the patterned papers. We've got a little piece of Call Me Clover. Uh, instead of using this as a candy cane, you can use that as a straw, super cute. A plain cup with one of the accents there. This one is a gift card holder. Again, some of that fun patterned paper there. Some right here and some inside. We've got a little uh, gift card holder pouch. And I think I'm gonna try to do a video on this because these are super easy and super fun. And then our last one uses a few patterns of the designer series paper. We've got the candy cane, the cup, um, and the Merry Christmas from the same set. So here we are back with all of our cards. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel down here. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. If you need any supplies or you want to order my online class, head to barbstamps.com. Uh, Shoppingwithbarb.com is my ordering website. I'm always offering gifts with purchase. And I also have another online class with the Christmas Time is Here bundle. So check everything out on my blog. And thanks again for watching and have a great day.